China, the world's second largest economy, moves full steam ahead toward building a modern socialist country. All eyes will soon be centered on the forthcoming two sessions to see how the world's most populous nation accomplishes their goals. The two sessions are the country's annual meetings of the National People's Congress and the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. The gatherings are heavyweights in China's political calendar as they set the national agenda for the year and beyond. This year, the meetings carry extra weight as 2021 was a fresh start in China's new quest to build itself into a modern socialist country. It is, therefore, crucial for lawmakers and political advisers to check and discuss the 2021 report card and lay out plans for the year ahead. China continued its role as a stabilizing anchor of the turbulent world economy in 2021, with gross domestic product registering an 8.1% year-on-year growth. China ha demostrado tener una recuperación económica más rápida y mejores cifras que las que eran esperadas. China's economic recovery, of course, even as it has progressed, has a few challenges, but basically the resilience.、Uh, Has come out and、uh, it is on an upward growth. So the good thing is that if China is strong economically, then it is able to sustain the supply chains that will feed the rest of the world. Stressing high-quality development, China has exerted great efforts in innovation, industrial upgrading, and cutting-edge technologies. China's spending on research and development hit a new high of 2.44 percent of its GDP in 2021. Reaching 2.79 trillion yuan, up 14.2 percent year on year. China is a significant opportunity for global investors, for global corporations. At the same time, China has provided outstanding returns for investors. China is producing extremely innovative companies、uh, that are utilizing new technologies. The COVID-19 pandemic, over the past two plus years, has been a test of governance effectiveness for every country, and China, undoubtedly, is among the best performers. Personally, I think China's zero tolerance to COVID、um, is worth to mention. And what I like in China is people's lives comes first here. Government trying their best to curb the COVID-19. The year 2021 is regarded as year one for China to move toward carbon neutrality, which witnessed the release of a top-level design document for peaking carbon emissions and achieving carbon neutrality and an action plan for peaking carbon emissions before 2030. China's carbon offsetting measures and green energy methods have sent a clear signal to the world that the country is committed to the mission of advocating carbon neutrality and achieving a sustainable development. The recent Beijing 2022 Olympic Winter Games was described as a truly exceptional event by the International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach.、Well, the preparations are、uh, excellent. Again, you know, we see the high praise by the athletes uh, for uh, the villages.、Uh, we see the high praise uh, for uh, the venues, which、uh, you know are not only from a sporting、uh, point of view.、Uh, Uh, such a success,、uh, also from an architectural、uh, point of view.